Got my front porch swing, a glass of lemonade, a baby on my knee, I think I got it made. You'd best be believing, I'm never leaving evening shade. Got a southern breeze singing through the pines, cool as a jewel up in the summertime. You'd best be believing, I'm never leaving evening shade. They got 10 cent stores, no locks on the doors, and everybody knows your name. They got Sunday school, the golden rule, and every day that passes is slower than molasses, and you can't ever smile lying in the shade. So come on down and you'll be glad you stayed. Don't talk about leaving, I'm never leaving in the shade. You better believe it. What the French kiss? What? What the French kiss? What the hell kind of homework is this? It's not my homework. I just like to know. A French kiss is when two people kiss and they're in France. Oh. Come on now, coach. Psychologists say when kids ask questions like this, you're supposed to answer them truthfully. I'm sorry, but that is the number one definition known all over the world, and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> Coach, I didn't mean to be eavesdropping, but I couldn't help overhearing what you all were talking about. What is it about the words French kiss that makes everybody jump to attention? Well, I just want to thank you for clearing that up for me. I'm trying to do all the research I can for my big date tonight. You got a date? <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Nubsters on the loose. <laughs> Lock up your daughters. <laughs> Are you getting a girlfriend? Uh, I hope so. You better watch out, because if you break up with them, they'll put chewing gum in your hair. Really? Boy, there's a lot to know about women, in there? Mm. Maybe I should start making up some flashcards. Well, your lunch hour's almost up, buddy. Hey, Get your stuff together. Your bike outside? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I just remember now, if you happen to kiss anyone today, you are in America. Okay, see you later, Dad. Bye-bye. See you later. Well, tell us, who's the lucky lady? Amanda Goodacre. Her dad owns that new Chevron station. Uh oh, hey, she that cute little brunette who runs the register? No, the blonde who dug the trenches for the pumps. A ditch digger. Every man's fantasy. <laughs> Don't I know it. <laughs> hey, Nub, take her to the Pickwick Drive-In. Perfect. Yeah, listen, they're showing a scary movie. Mm. Perfect for cuddling. <laughs> you devil. <laughs> hey, and if the movie's no good, we can always play on the swings. I tell you, some days I just hate being a doctor. Well, it was at the nursing home, and it's prostate day. <laughs> Wrong. Now practice insurance day. Once a year, I write that check and it just tears my heart out. One of these years, something's gonna happen and you'll be glad that you wrote those checks. Now what's gonna happen? I never make a mistake. <laughs> All right, what can I get for you nice folks? Let me see. Hey, Harlan, what are those cards for? Harlan's on deal a meal. Deal a meal? You mean that Richard Simmons diet plan? Yes, isn't it exciting? These cards list all the foods that Harlan can eat. Whenever he wants to order something, he has to give up a card. And then when he's out of cards, that means that he's through eating for the day. So as you can imagine, Harlan takes his cards very seriously. Oh, I'll have um, a quarter of a cup of tuna. A half a cup of broccoli. And now here's where it gets really tough. I just can't make up my mind what I want. Um, Go fish. <laughs> All right. I'll finish it with this. Chocolate layer cake a la mode with hot fudge. Covered with nuts. But these cars didn't come with that diet. Well, that's a brand new car. I, Richard sent me that personally. Well, if, if he did, he misspelled chocolate. How is the diet coming? Well, I lost 
15 pounds. Great. Well, I think it's fabulous. Richard interviewed this man from Baraboo, Wisconsin, who lost 376 pounds in 18 months. Stop, Richard. Where do you think all that fat goes? Marlene, don't start it now. That's a lot of weight. I mean, you can make two or three regular-sized people with that much weight. <laughs> do you think that it might be possible? Marlene, will you listen to yourself? You're saying that Richard Simmons is making people from excess fat. No, I'm... <laughs> The stranger things have happened. You know something, Harlan? You ought to write to Richard Simmons and tell him about that weight you lost. What for? Well, he loves hearing about people's success stories. Besides, he might read your letter on TV. Really? Yeah. You know, I've always dreamed of hearing my name on TV. You know something? My grandmother, she had a real bad weight problem. Rest her soul. On cool winter mornings, she'd be down in the kitchen eating a ham. She'd say, pumpkin. What are, you la what are you laughing about? She called me pumpkin because I was born jaundiced. Sorry. <laughs> but she'd say to me, pumpkin, you know I think I'm going to go back on my diet. Just as soon as I finish this box of moon pie. <laughs> well, I got to go. I just wanted to invite all of you out to Tara for a little dinner party on Friday. Well, thank Great. you. Well, I won't be there. I have the feeling I'm going to be recovering from my big date. Herman's taking me and Amanda to the drive-in. Hey, wait, no, wait, hold it. Who said I'm taking you to the drive-in? Well, it was your idea, Punky. <laughs> Y'all settle down, settle down and watch the movie. Uh oh, incoming! Oh. <laughs> Nub, stop it! You got Nub, you, Nub, you're going to miss the part of the movie you came here to see. Lance, Lance's head's getting ready to explode. Oh no! <laughs> you missed it. His head just exploded and you missed it. You want to see me drink through my nose? Yeah! Oh. That is so cool. I think I'm going to be sick. You want, you want another Coke? I appear to be out. Imagine it. What, are you going to drink this one through your ear? <laughs> no, Amanda and me are going to have a burping contest. Do you think I should let her win? No, from what I've seen, you're not going to have to let her win. <laughs> She's great, isn't she? <laughs> Back in the jiffy. Say that again. Back in the jiffy. You are so sexy when you say that. <laughs> I'm so lonely. Amanda. I'm here to watch my... Man! 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 Potato skins, anyone? Oh, I'll have some. Oh, Harlan, I'm sorry, I forgot. You're, I've run out of cards. All right, then I'll have a, a, an eighth of, a, of an avocado. Harlan, you're not supposed to have that card. A tablespoon full of uh, cream cheese. No! Four ounces of light beer. You can't have that. I don't want to have I made this for you. It's right out of Richard Simmons' cookbook. What the hell is this? Because it, I can't believe it's tofu. Well, I can't believe that the dog didn't throw it up. Hey, Marlene. I'm sorry I'm late. Welcome, Herman. We thought you weren't coming. I just had the worst day of my life. What's wrong? <laughs> oh, I took Nub and Amanda to the drive-in last night to see that new exploding head picture, which, by the way, is not that bad movie. But when Nub went to refill his Coca-Cola, she threw herself at me. No. Oh, come on, honey. I'm not kidding you. Oh, she really did. It, does Nub know about that? Of course he knows about it. By the time he got back, she had me tied down with her knee highs. <laughs> 
What did he do? Oh, he didn't do anything, but he won't talk to me now. Every time I get close to him, he throws his hands over his ears and sings, Near my God to thee, at the top of his lungs. <laughs> Too bad. I mean, you gonna have one of these potato skins? Harlan. Hey, Harlan. Y'all have any aspirin? I think Mandy gave me whiplash. Yeah, right, right there in the medicine cabinet, right beside the uh, fruit flavored tums. <laughs> fruit flavored. You are pathetic. Oh, Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons. What's he doing here? Everybody hide. What? Hide. Don't tell him I'm here. Why? You just trust me on this. No, you, you gotta tell me why. Just trust me. No, tell me why. Oh, it's so exciting. Hi. How are you? I'm Richard Simmons. How are you? Nice to see you. Hi, and and this is my assistant, Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Why, it looks like we've interrupted a little hat party here. <laughs> oh, I, I love that hat. Can I try it on? No. <laughs> Mr. Simmons, oh, oh, this is just such an honor to have you here. Thank you so much. Can I offer you a potato skin? Oh, oh, no, thank you. <laughs> well, I'm on my sweat into the oldies tour, and uh, I got this letter from Mr. Harlan Eldridge. And uh, I just stopped by, and I thought I could say hello. Is he here? Oh, yes. Uh, no. No? No? He's gone to the uh, place. The, uh, the, the store place. Store place. The store place. Um, to, to get some fruit. Uh, fruit flavored. Tums. Uh, Tums. Oh my gosh. I'm really sorry I missed him because, see, I'm in town and I, and, and I wanted him to be on my television show tomorrow night. <gasps> Harlan on TV? Ooh, that's great. Oh, Harlan has never been on TV before. Oh, well, except once. I thought that I saw him on Unsolved Mysteries. <laughs> Harlan assured me that he's never even been in Utah. <laughs> Much less kidnapped a Mormon woman. Well, well I, I really do believe him. So I'll, I'll come back tomorrow. Oh, well, I know he'll just be so excited. Well, anybody who has lost 150 pounds what? needs to have a moment in the locale spotlight. <laughs> Why did you tell him that you lost so much weight? Well, I didn't think it'd actually come to my house. I've been writing Diane Sawyer for years, and she never showed up in my house. Hey, Coach. Hey, Harlan, I heard about you losing that 150 pounds. You look terrific. I didn't lose 150 pounds. I made it up! Oh, that's good for, frankly, I'm not sure how much longer I could have kept up that charade. Hey, no! No, look, I've been looking all over for you. We gotta talk. Nearer, my God, to thee, dear. No, 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 I did not do anything! Don't play dumb with me, Herman. Amanda told me how you threw a love spell oh, no, on no, her. No, get here. I did not throw a love spell over anybody. Fine. First you slip her a Mickey, and now you call her a liar. I demand satisfaction. You demand what? I challenge you to a duel. <laughs> I know Amanda digs a hell of a ditch, but she's not worth getting shot over. Good Lord, Coach, I'm not talking about using guns. Somebody might get hurt. You choose the weapon. Oh, no, I do not want to fight with you. Choose a weapon, weenie. All right, I will. <laughs> Chinese food. Chinese food? Chinese food? What kind of weapon is that? I, I don't know. Hell, I, nobody ever challenged me to a duel before. It's the first thing that came to my mind. <laughs> it's unorthodox, but I like it. And as soon as I find a Chinese restaurant, you're going to be in big trouble. <laughs> Him? He makes me want to leave town. I don't know why you're worried. The nearest Chinese restaurant's in Jonesboro. Besides, you can't go anywhere. I'd like to have you here tonight with me when Richard arrives. What on earth for? Well, he thinks I lost 150 pounds, and I just can't disappoint him. Not unless you have a chainsaw. That ship has sailed. Because <laughs> I just want Herman to be me for one night. That's what? all. That letter I sent to him had your picture in it. What? Yeah, 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 but you're the skinniest person I know. Come on, you gotta help me, Herman. I could never pull it off, even if I could find a bunny suit. Oh, a, bu a bunny suit? Yeah, the only picture I could find was that, that one that you had taken at the children's ward when you played the Easter Bunny. You sent Richard Simmons a picture of me in a bunny suit? I could just die. <laughs> Wisconsin, 
lost 376 pounds in 18 months. The very next day, a family of four walked into a police station in New Orleans with no idea of who they were or where they were from. I'd like to stay and talk, but I saw that tofu back Ponder. <laughs> Richard Simmons is from New Orleans. He still has people there. Think about it. <laughs> Merlene, Richard Simmons is not making people out of excess fat. <laughs> now, if you don't give this up, I'm going to have to put you away. <laughs> Me like that. Why don't you just tell him the truth, Harlan? I you understand. Oh, Merlene, you are so naive. You know, Richard may look like a perky little man on TV, but who knows what he's capable of? Sure, Harlan. He's gonna rip that tank top off and whip somebody with it. <laughs> you need to sit down and relax. Now, what I need is a chocolate donut. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Harlan. You're all out of cards. Well, forget the damn cards. Give me a chocolate donut at once. That's him. Where's Herman? Face it, Harlan. He's not coming. I bet he knows Tai Chi. He doesn't know Tai Chi. All right, bring everything in here and just set it up right here, okay? Okay, now where is my friend Harlan? Where is he? Right over here. It is just such a, an honor to have you in our home again. I believe that you know everyone here except Mr. Ponder Blue. Well, Mr. Ponder Blue, how are you? Oh, I am just fine. You know, Harlan had me trying out the recipes in your cookbook in my restaurant. <gasps> Have you tried chicken in a nest or a teepee turkey burger? No, and frankly, the whole thing's got me worried. <laughs> oh, don't be worried. You'll love it. Now, where is Harlan? Well, I haven't met this man over here. Hello. Hi, I'm Richard Simmons. What is your name? Uh, tai Chi. <laughs> I'm out of town. <clears throat> Marlene, honey, I was doing the bye bye off my car down on the thin vitro fertilization replacement, and I forgot all about that. <laughs> Richard Simmons? Harlan! Oh. oh, Harlan, you look wonderful. Come over, sit down over here. You owe me, baby. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is so terrific. Deal a meal, Harlan Eldridge, take one. Harlan, it is so good seeing you. It's good seeing you too, Richard. You know, the letter that I received from you was the kindest and warmest and most sincere letter you wrote in your letter. Dear Richard, since going on the Deal a Meal program, I have lost. 150 pounds and regain the use of my right hand. <laughs> Tell us about that hand, Harlan. My, my hand. <laughs> I still find it awfully difficult to talk about Shh, that. Come here. <laughs> Just let it out. <laughs> Harlan, look at me. Harlan, you have lost 150 pounds. Do you, do you feel different? I hardly feel like Harlan Eldridge at all. <laughs> you know, I, I've seen so many overweight tragedies, and the worst is, is when I see an overweight mom raise an overweight son. Did this happen to you? You know, come to think of it, I was raised by my grandmother, and she did have a weight problem, rest of her. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, don't be sorry. Listen, you would have loved her, Richard. You would want to give her a hug. You know, she used to give me breakfast in bed every morning. She'd squeeze herself through the door of my room and she'd say, <laughs> she'd say, pumpkin? Hey, for grapefruit. Jelly toast without the crust. <laughs> then she'd go back downstairs to the kitchen. Need a bucket of the Colonel's chicken. <laughs> <laughs> she worshipped that man. I just wish you could live to try the extra crispy. I have a confession to make. Shut up! I can't keep quiet any longer. It's my moment, whoever you are. Richard, my name is not Tai Chi. Get out of here. This is my house. I 
am Harlan Eldridge. I never lost 150 pounds. Keep the camera rolling. <laughs> I lost 15 pounds. Harlan, sit down right here. <laughs> sit, no, no, over here. here. Over here, Harlan. <laughs> Why? Why would you want to lie to, to Richard Simmons? Well, I lied because I wanted you to hear you mention my name on TV. Oh, Richard. You feel so cheap. Shh. Wait a minute. You may have not lost 150 pounds, but look at me. You lost 15, and that's a start, a good start. Oh, thank you, Richard. I'll give you $1,000 if you give me another deck of cards. <laughs> You don't need another deck of cards. You just work on this, and I promise I'll come back and see you. Oh. Shakespeare wrote, a friend should bear his friend's infirmities. Of course, Shakespeare never had to search another man's pocket for a hidden dessert card. Nevertheless, Harlan's friends will always be there in a place called Evening Shade.